had a forced air gas furnace, 90 plus efficient furnace, that developed a crack in the heat exchanger, so it had to be replaced. And we replaced that with not another furnace, but rather a Renai tankless water heater and their hydronic air handler. I was hoping to use this uh, as a case study so we could determine whether as a company, as, as an industry, that we could uh, promote this type of technology. What inspires me about the technology first and foremost is the comfort. A heat pump will deliver register air temperatures of somewhere around 95 degrees at best, where a gas furnace will deliver approximately 140 degrees register temperature. And in consulting with Renai, they, um, they felt that I'd realize approximately 130 degrees register temperature. And that's about what it came out to be uh, after installation. Another benefit to the tankless hydronic system that I've, that I've got from Renai is, is space savings. Approximately 200 cubic feet of, of space uh, was saved in my situation, so that same 200 cubic feet could be used in new construction to add a closet or simply reduce the size of the, the structure with, with building materials escalating like they are. It could save some, some money in, in new construction. Another advantage that I found with, with this hydronic system is that we've got one appliance doing multiple jobs. Hydronic forced air heating uses hot water as a heat source in a home or building's air handler. Propane tankless water heaters provide a smart source of hot water for these systems, for many of the same reasons that make them a smart source for domestic hot water. First, compared with a gas furnace, Tankless hydronic heating requires only one gas appliance, which means fewer vents and gas connections to install. Second, it allows a home to take advantage of the reliability and thermal efficiency of a propane tankless water heater, which can achieve efficiency levels around 94%. Tankless water heaters provide endless water on demand, so running out of domestic hot water isn't a concern. And finally, the system provides balanced humidity and a level of heat that's warmer and more comfortable than a heat pump, but less extreme than a furnace to help avoid temperature stratification closer to ducts. Here's how the system works. When the wall thermostat calls for heat, it engages a pump and it starts the flow of hot water from the tankless water heater into the air handler. Hot water passes through the hydronic heating coil in the air handler and the air is heated as the blower moves the heated air into the structure. Water continues to circulate through the tankless water heater and the hydronic heating coil as long as there is a call for heat. A priority switch allows domestic hot water to continue to flow if there is an excess demand at the sink or the shower. Propane tankless water heaters can meet home heating capacities ranging from 17,000 to 77,000 BTUs making them an effective alternative not only to gas furnaces, but also to electric backup heat. Unlike electric heat strips, tankless hydronic heating systems don't have a burning smell caused by dust or lint burning off the electric coil. And they don't require you to increase the size of your standby generator by 10 kilowatts or more. And while electric backup heat can send electric bills soaring during cold weather, hot water from a propane tankless water heater is typically much more affordable. A hydronic heating coil can also be used in combination with a heat pump to create a hybrid system, activating the hydronic coil when the heat pump becomes less efficient at around 38 to 42 degrees Fahrenheit. A tankless water heater's compact size makes it a great fit for closet-style applications in multifamily units or small homes. It's also a great light footprint option for super efficient homes where heating is only needed on the coldest days. It's a smart way to put your project's tankless water heater to work and thrill your clients with enhanced comfort. The energy savings that, that I've incurred with this hydronic system has been remarkable in my opinion. Last heating season, I used approximately 0.28 gallons per degree day. This past heating season, I've reduced that to 0.21 gallons per degree day. Uh, that's a significant cost savings. 
especially in light of it being a COVID uh, winter when uh, more, more people were in the home. This past winter, we, we experienced some temperatures that were normal and even below normal. And so I was cognizant of having a new system installed as to how it would perform in those uh, colder temperatures and uh, was pleasantly surprised that this more even balanced, less stratified heat amounted to quite a bit of comfort. This community of Fawn Lake is, has been in existence uh, over 20 years, almost 25 years, and, and we're located about 20 miles uh, west of, of Fredericksburg, Virginia, and so outside of any natural gas lines, and so uh, propane was the natural energy of choice when uh, the developers first started building in Fawn Lake. Of the thousand plus homes that are currently in Fawn Lake, 99% of those are, are propane homes. So it's the energy uh, of choice in this community. I think this, this technology represents a great uh, retrofit type of opportunity for HVAC contractors and, and their homeowner customers. By removing the strip heat from the heat pump that's currently in the home, the customer will be able to have a warmer, more comfortable temperature coming out of the registers, number one. will be able to enjoy cost savings so that that uh, electric strip or big toaster, as I like to call it, doesn't come on. And it's so much more adjustable and with the smart thermostats that we have now, where a heat pump you wouldn't dare have the home uh, lower in temperature during the day when you're not there and then oscillate up, but rather uh, you can do that with a hydronic system. It's a huge advantage over a heat pump. For this application, we took in, removed the uh, furnace and put in the hydronic air handler to take the place of that furnace. And then we added a evaporator coil on top, which we tied back into an air conditioner outside. Then we installed the tankless water heater to be able to provide the hot water for the hydronic water heater. And once we did that, we had to tie in the uh, ductwork as well and make sure that it was all sealed and efficient. One good thing about this home was that the existing furnace was a 92 plus furnace. Uh, so it already had PVC venting, which we utilized for the new hot water heater. In the past, I've worked on units that use tank water heaters to um, deliver hot water to the hydronic air handler. With using a tankless water heater to do it, you're not storing all that unused energy in that tank anymore. You're going to get 100% of your energy to your air handler for the demand in your home. Now in this application here, you can see that the water heater is mounted within reasonable distance of the hydronic air handler. That way you don't get thermal loss on the plumbing lines uh, as it's delivering the hot water to the hydronic air handler. Your, uh, the domestic priority switch, what that does is if there is a high demand for domestic water to the faucets or the shower, it will shut down the air handler and allow that water to be distributed to the shower or the faucet. And then once that demand is met, it will kick back to the uh, air handler to heat the home. After installing the system, you have the ability to dial in the system to where it's gonna run most comfortable for the customer uh, by controlling the airspeed across the coil, output temperature of your tankless water heater, along with balancing your airflow through the ductwork throughout the house. Also, you can help achieve comfort by controlling the flow rate of the water to the unit. With hydronic furnaces, you have the ability to free up space in your utility room and gain a lot more efficiency out of it because you're going to use less electricity while you're uh, running these systems.